today we are going to read a story named Jack and the Flum Flum Tree. It's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by David Roberts. Jack had a granny and his granny had spots. Great big purple ones, lots and lots. The doctor came and he shook his head. Your granny has the measles, the doctor said. And the only cure in the world, said he, is the fruit that grows on the plum plum tree. And the only place that the plum plum grows is the faraway isle of blow your nose. So Jack built a boat and Jack found a crew. Red cheeked rose and stubble cheeked stew. And he said to stew and he said to rose, we are off. To the Isle of Blow Your Nose. Granny came down to the dock with Jack and she gave him a bulgy patchwork sack and in that sack were a pair of wooden spoons, a porridge bowl, ten pegs, some red and blue balloons, Granny's old skipping rope, a pack of chewing gum, three spotty hankies and a tom tom drum and Jack said Granny, what is the use of those? Aha, said Granny and she tapped her nose. The dog sailed Jack with Stu and Rose for the faraway isle of Blow Your Nose. Sharks, cried Rose. Lords, cried Stu. They'll gobble us, they'll guzzle us. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Red balloons, blue balloons, they should do the trick. Puff, puff, blow them up, let them go quick. Then the sharks went nip and the sharks went gnash, chasing those balloons with a back pop splash. A leak, cried Rose. It's wet, cried Stu. The boat is full of water, whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny's pack of chewing gum, that should do the trick. Chew it up, stretch it out, stick it in quick. So they chewed and they stretched and they plucked that hole. And they bailed out the water with Granny's porridge bowl. The on sailed Jack with stew and rose for the faraway isle of blow your nose. Whoops! cried Rose. Help! cried Stu. I can't swim for toffee. Whatever will you do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny's old skipping rope, that should do the trick. Hold tight, throw it out, grab the handle quick. So they heaved and they hauled and they pulled Stu in. Ah, good old Granny, she saved my skin. Then on sailed Jack with Stu and Rose till they came to the Isle of Blow Your Nose. And there on a hill for all to see stood the bright green, feathery, plum plum tree. It's tall, cried Rose. It's smooth, cried Stu. It's not got any branches. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny's bag of ten pegs, they should do the trick. Bang, bang, knock them in, climb the tree quick. Then up went Rose, as nimble as could be, as she brought down the fruit of the flum flum tree. Then Jack and Stu and Rose had a doze on the soft sandy beach of Blow Your Nose. A thief, cried Rose. A monkey, yelled Stu. He's got our precious flum flum, whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny spoons and Tom Tom, they should do the trick. Pick them up, tum tum, sing a song quick. The monkey crept closer, he listened to the tunes. He put down the fluff one and he grabbed the wooden spoons. Then back sailed Jack with stew and rose, all the way home from blow your nose. Granny ate the flum flum, the muzzles disappeared. She's cured, said the doctor, and everyone cheered. And Jack said, thank you for the pair of wooden spoons, the porridge bowl, the skipping rope, the red and blue balloons. Thank you for the ten pegs, 
and the pack of chewing gum and thank you granny for the tom tom drum but the three spotty hankies what was the use of those the hankies silly were to blow your nose if you like that story please do subscribe to our channel thank you so much